the previous video, we looked at the lookup system view. In this video, we look at public views. So public views are general purpose views which you can customize as you see fit. So anyone who has access to an entity will be able to access all the public views of that entity. For example, me as a user has access to the accounts entity. Okay, I'm able to view the account records, edit it, etc. Okay, because of that, I have access to its public views. So to look at the public views of that entity, which is accounts, just click on the down arrow next to the current views name. Okay, the current view is my Acto accounts. Just click on that and you'll see that all this under the list system views are the public views. Okay, all this is accessible to anyone who has access to the account entity. So to create a public view, go to the default solution and just click on new. Okay. So the uh, public view which I'm going to be creating is in the account entity. So before I start creating the view, let's take a look at the business requirement. I want to create a view with the name my target accounts and the filter criteria is the owner should be equal to the current user and relationship type is equal to competitor or consultant and credit limit is above 100 or relationship type is supplier or vendor or reseller and credit limit is less than or equal to 100. So let's take a look at how to configure this view. The first thing which I need to do is give a name to that view which is my target accounts. Just click on OK. Once you have given the name, just start adding the fields which you want in the result. Right now there is only account name. So to do that, just click on add columns. So I will add the account number, city, annual revenue, email, relationship type. So make sure that I added the credit limit. I did not, so I will add the credit limit. And that's it. Okay, so I've added all the fields which I want and just click on OK. So now I want to reorder the way in which these fields are appearing. So let me go ahead and move the account number all the way to the end. So just click on the account number once. Once that green rectangle appears, just click on the right button want it to be on the way to the end want email right next to the account name followed by the credit limit followed by relationship type the others are okay all right so now i've added the fields which I want in the results okay so now let's go ahead and start mentioning our filter criteria to do that just click on edit filter criteria okay so let's take a look at our uh, requirement once more the first thing is the owner should be equal to the current user so Search for the owner field, which is right here, and it's equal to current user, then followed by relationship type is equal to competitor or consultant, and credit limit is above 100. Okay, so let me first add the relationship type requirement, which is equal. Consultant. 
So to add the options to our filter criteria, just click on that field. Make sure that that horizontal line is uh, below that uh, text and then just click on this button okay similarly I want to do it for consultant select that click that button okay so now you've added the options so just click on ok so what it will do is it will check if the relationship type equals competitor or consultant and credit limit is above 100 is greater than 100 similarly I want to add one more option which is relationship type is supplier or vendor or resale now I will group it once I have added all the conditions equals this one it is supplier vendor or resale supplier vendor resale just click on okay and credit limit is less than or equal to 100 credit limit is less than or equal to 100 see I mean based out of the field which you select over here the operators change since this is a numerical number that is it's a money field it will uh, it will show you i mean you will be presented with um, mathematical operators whereas if you choose something like an option set the options will change like equals does not contain data etc okay so based out of the type of field you choose the operators change okay so is there any other uh, any other criteria okay nothing else all right so now what we need to do is we need to group the uh, conditions so what are the ones which we have so we need to group if relationship type is competitor or consultant so if you choose like this relationship type equals competitor consultant it means that it will check if relationship type equals competitor or consultant okay so uh, this part is this part is uh, satisfied and credit limit is above 100 okay so these two conditions should be grouped that is these two so just select this row so to group it just click on the down arrow next to relationship type click on select row similarly for this one select row and click on group and okay so what it will do is it will make sure that both these conditions are to be satisfied okay similarly we have relationship type is supplier or vendor or reseller which will be uh, which will be satisfied with this okay supplier vendor or reseller okay and credit limit is less than or equal to 100 so these two should be in a and condition so just select that row select this row just group and okay finally these two conditions that is this set and this set is an or statement that is it needs to satisfy this set or this set okay 
the way I know that is by the brackets so the brackets from for this uh, condition start from here and end all the way over here so this is one set of uh, conditions and this one is another set of conditions okay so yeah so these two these two sets of conditions need to be grouped into an or so to do that just select this group similarly just click on this click on select group and click on group or okay so yeah that is how you group different uh, criteria together okay we do not need to uh, select this row and uh, this entire group and put it into an and statement because as i had mentioned earlier if you do not mention anything it by default assumes that it is an and statement that is this statement needs to be evaluated to true and this entire thing this entire thing should evaluate to true then only it will display the records okay so let me go ahead and click on ok save it publish the change so I'm just going to minimize this page now now if I go ahead and refresh this page and if I uh, click on this drop down you will see that my target accounts has been added to the list of system views okay if I just click on this now you'll see the different types of fields which is there in our uh, view the ones which we added like account name email credit limit etc okay so let's go ahead and create an account which satisfy that uh, filter criteria which we mentioned and see if it appears in this view okay so now let me go ahead and create a new record and let me enter data in such a way that it satisfies the conditions so uh, let me satisfy these two conditions relationship type is competitor or consultant and credit limit is about 100 let me choose the relationship type as competitor then in the details I'm going to enter a credit limit of 150 so now let me go ahead and save and close this see what happens you will see that the uh, account record which we just created test account view is being displayed in the my target accounts because it satisfied the filter criteria which we enter that is owner should be me that is the current user and credit limit it should satisfy any of these two uh, sets of conditions that is this one or this one okay since it satisfied uh, this set of conditions it is being displayed over here okay so that is basically public views so any view which is being created in the default solution that is by going to the default solution and going to views over here and then clicking on new and being created those are public views okay in the next video we'll look at personal views